nurse Lucy Letby, who was unmasked as the UK's most prolific child serial killer in modern times, has been given a whole life sentence. The 33-year-old was convicted of murdering seven babies and attempting to kill six other infants at the Countess of Chester Hospital. Let be deliberately injected babies with air, force-fed others milk and poisoned two of the infants with insulin. She refused to appear in the dock for her sentencing hearing. Let be will spend the rest of her life behind bars becoming only the fourth woman in UK history to receive such a sentence. Whole life orders are the most severe punishment available and are reserved for those who commit the most heinous crimes. Mr Justice Goss said the cruelty and calculation of Letby's actions were truly horrific. You acted in a way that was completely contrary to the normal human instincts of nurturing and caring for babies and in gross breach of the trust that all citizens place in those who work in the medical and caring professions he said. He added handover sheets relating to all but the first four babies were found when police searched Letby's home, which he was satisfied she kept as morbid records. There was a malevolence bordering on sadism in your actions, he said. During the course of this trial you have coldly denied any responsibility for your wrongdoing. You have no remorse. There are no mitigating factors. He said Letby would be provided with copies of his remarks and the personal statements of the parents. Ben Myers KC, defending Letby, said the neonatal nurse had maintained her innocence throughout these proceedings so there was nothing he was able to add in mitigation that was capable of reducing the sentence. The public gallery was full of parents of the babies, some cried quietly as the victim impact statements were read earlier. Some of the jury members, who sat through nine months of evidence, also appeared upset as they heard the statements. The mother of a baby boy killed by Nurse Letby said she was horrified that someone so evil exists as the family's victim impact statements were read out in court. Addressing an empty dock, the mother of baby C, who became emotional, told the court that knowing her son's murderer was watching over them was like something out of a horror story. The mother of Baby D, who was holding a toy rabbit as she read her statement, said Letby's wicked sense of entitlement and abuse of her role as a trusted nurse was a scandal. The parents of Baby G, who was the most premature of all the babies, weighing just 535 grams, 1 pound 3 ounces, told the court. God saved her but then the devil found her.